Audi A8, which is one of our finalists for Automobile of the Year. The A8 has the poorest luck, I think, of all the Automobile of the Year candidates here. The headlights almost look like your cat when you gave them like a tranquilizer and their third eyelid is half closed, but it's really beautiful. It's a great car. It looks fantastic, an evolution of the last car styling. It's beautiful. It's well screwed together. It doesn't quite have the presence of a BMW 7 Series or a Mercedes S-Class. The interior is up to the usual Audi standards, which is excellent. You can enter destinations by writing them on a little touch pad that's in the dashboard. It drives well, a 4.2 liter V8. Uh, it sounds great, handles well. It feels really small. If you were on a real road, you could push it as hard as you wanted to. All aluminum construction, which makes it light. The A8 is playing a little bit of a different game than a lot of the other cars that it competes against. Even though it's got a V8 and four-wheel drive, it matches the fuel economy of the hybrid V6 rear-wheel drive Mercedes S-Class. Its misfortune is that it's here the same year as the Jaguar XJ, which I think is uh, one of everybody's favorites. So any other year, it might have been a serious contender, but this year I think it's gonna be reserved to a second place. When we're all thinking about fuel economy and the environment, that's a really nice step in the right direction. Yeah, see? That was a horrible at, and it got it right. Pretty much because it guesses at no matter what you do.